Hello friends of Analog Entertainment um, and welcome to Board Game News. I know it's not uh, Monday anymore, it's already Tuesday, sorry for that, uh, lots of stuff going on. But uh, all good news, so let's get right to it. So Mattel Games will also release a new uh, brand new games at Essen called Bania. Mattel Games, as you know, entered the German market last year um, with Kron für den König and Geister, Geister, Schatzsuchmeister. Geister, Geister, Schatzsuchmeister won Kinderspiel des Jahres 2014, so I think they're extra motivated to uh, yeah, continue with their new board game strategy here in Germany. And their next game will called Bania. It's... Uh, yeah, a strategy game placed in the desert where you have to build uh, tents and uh, yeah, the player who builds the best and most tents will win. So you can check out uh, the Board Game Git article about this new game by Mattel. Czech Games announced there will be an expansion for uh, Vlada Flatil's Arena of Tashkala coming in Essen. Um, Arena of Tashkala, uh, yeah, an abstract game by Vlada Flatil and the expansion will be called Everfrost, so some kind of ice winter kind of expansion for Arena of Tashkalar. I have to admit that um, Arena of Tashkalar wasn't my game uh, from Essen last year. Uh, I played it actually on, on in Essen, but um, yeah, it didn't stick with me. It, 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 it wasn't my type of game, but still uh, for every fan of the game, uh, yeah, you can be happy because the expansion uh, Everfrost is coming. So the Space Cowboys made a Facebook post about Black Fleet. Um, so the first uh, big stacks of the game uh, arrived at their office and they unpacked it and everything is there. So we can be happy that uh, soon, soon, soon it will be in our hands as well and we can play it in Essen. Also, if you don't know that already, there's a, they made a beautiful homepage about this board game. Um, uh, something you don't see uh, a lot um, for classic uh, published uh, board games that they have their own special website, beautifully designed as the game itself. So check it out. A little something for every John Carpenter fan out there. A fan made a little fun out of Bruno Cathala, the uh, designer of Abyss. Um, yeah, a hilarious Facebook post. Bruno uh, posted it himself also on his page. Uh, um, the link is below the video, so just check it out. And if you're into crowdfunding and killing orcs, you should definitely check out Queen Games' campaign of Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. It's a game where you play a battle mage, a battle mage and you kind of fight off waves and waves of uh, orcs um, who attack a castle. It's kind of a setup like Lord of the Rings Part 2, Helm's Clam or something like that. Well, you stand with your battle mage on a, on a tower or something and fight off these orcs with your spells and the wizard who uh, kills the most orcs wins the game. So it's uh, it's beautifully done and if you're into um, this kind of uh, stuff you sh should definitely check it out. Um, I think they pledged $10,000 and now they're like on 60000 so the game will definitely gonna happen and uh, you still have I think a week time to uh, get your copy. So with Hunter and Chrome there will be some changes uh, regarding the subtitling. As you might know we, sub we used a lot of English subtitling in the past on our reviews um, and it was nice because it brought us some uh, international viewers but it was just a little bit too time consuming now that we have the news also and we have other projects which we are preparing right now so um, we decided to uh, stop with the subtitling sorry but I came up with an idea because I will try um, when I'm shooting the news in English I will try to make a recap something of the latest review we did in German I will uh, mix this uh, with all the details and stuff we shot in the German review and do um, make a new English um, review version of it. So um, I will try this out and uh, with Sultania, um, the latest review we released in German without subtitling, um, but there will be a, a version in English and you can check it out and we'll see how it how it works and how you like it and um, yeah um, let's give it a try. One last thing um, congratulations to Hans im Glück for winning Deutscher Spielepreis 2014 with Russian Railroads. Um, Deutscher Spielepreis um, it's a prize uh, not from critics but you can vote for it so everybody can send in a letter and well, vote for their favorite game of the year. Russian Railroads definitely deserves to win a great worker placement game. If you don't know it, check it out on our channel. And um, yeah, I'm happy if you uh, subscribe or comment or give us uh, a thumbs up. So see you next week, I hope, on Monday again. Bye-bye.